Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for the 5% series for Game Week 29. And we're going to free hit this week. So the video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to run through what the scores were for Game Week 28. And then we're going to look at the players for Game Week 29. And it's a complete free for all. I'm going to make some suggestions. But if you want to go with completely different players, that's fine. There's lots of content creators out there saying who you should and shouldn't buy. If you want to copy one of them, that's fine. Just make sure you press the free hit button or you're going to be spending a lot of points on transfers. And then in game week 30 or else 31, I'm going to recommend we use our wild card, our second wild card. And then we'll change our team up and get it ready for the last few weeks of the season. But I won't know exactly which game week we're doing yet until we've had the FA Cup results because that's going to affect when the double game weeks are, who's blanking and who's doubling. All right, let's look at what happened in game week 28. So our expensive goalkeepers for game week 28, Onanu 11, Neto 4. Bit disappointing for Neto, only getting four. He had a double game week. The cheaper keepers, Kaminsky, another double of four. That's all. Regarding the expensive defenders, White 11, Poro 7. And that's all. The cheaper defenders, Estupinan finally got some points. Hooray. He's going to be out of the system in the wild card, but at least he got some points now. Udogi 6, Doughty 5. And then the expensive midfielders, Sun 17, Fernandez 11. Aren't you glad we kept him in the system? De Bruyne 6. The cheaper midfielders, Madison 9. And then the cheapest midfielders, Palmer 13, Barkley 9, Garnacho 9. And that's all. Regarding the expensive forwards, Solanke 8, Darwin 5, and then for the cheaper forwards, Morris 4, and that's all. Most of the people, or all the people I'm aware of who's following this, and I check their teams, they got green arrows. And for this coming game week where we're free hitting, everyone who's free hitting really should be getting a green arrow. So there's going to be a good number of managers that won't even get 11 players out. So you can pretty much pick anyone who's going to be all right and hopefully you'll do okay but let's have a look at what we're going to think there are only four games this game week and when you look at the bookies websites each of the eight teams are more likely to concede a goal than keep a clean sheet so we want to be concentrating our players on the midfielders and the forwards so we're, i'm recommending you only go for three defenders if you want to go more that's fine it's up to you now it's most likely at least one team will keep a clean sheet, looking at the odds, but we don't know which team it is. If you want to take a huge gamble, you could choose three defenders from the same team if you want to. And if they get a clean sheet, you're going to be getting lots of points compared to other people. But that's highly risky. The safe thing to do is choose a goalkeeper and three defenders, all from different teams. So looking at the goalkeeper choices this week, you could go with Martinez for Aston Villa. Now, I've marked some players as green, so Leno, I think, is probably going to be an all right player to have. He's at home to Tottenham, and he's going to be moderately popular. Kaminsky, Flecken's going to be popular. And then Ariola's going to probably be the highest own keeper. Now, money's not going to be a problem this game week, because the players in, that are playing are all moderately cheap, so you, can, you don't need to worry about money. All you need to worry about is not having more than three players from the same team, which is why I don't have the Spurs keeper here. Because although he's all right, if you're going to choose three Spurs players, you should really be choosing different Spurs players. So of these, probably Ariola's the safest regarding how much your rank's going to hurt. And then Flecken would be probably the second most popular keeper out of this lot. But they're all probably going to let in a goal, to be fair. Regarding the defenders, Pedro Porro, he's a good player. Loads of people are going to buy him. He's probably the best defender to get this game week. But he does take up, take up a Spurs spot. Marino's all right. Udogi's all right. Like Porro. See, if you wanted to, you could get Udogi and Porro. And despite what I said, you could also buy the Tottenham keeper and hope they keep a clean sheet and then you're going to get loads of points. The downside of that, of course, is when they let in a goal, none of them are going to get clean sheets. Doughty's good because he's attacking. Then we've got Cash in here. We've got Konza. For the cheaper defenders... Collins, Robinson, Roboslov, Toffolo, Regulon's going to be popular-ish. So I would recommend you get the um, two that I made green and then just pick three others, probably from different teams if you can, 
but two of them are going to be on the bench anyway and it's very much potluck I think this game week. Regarding the midfielders, Son's worth getting, Bowen's worth getting, Madison's all right, Kudos is all right, Kulisewski may be all right, may not get as many minutes as other players, but he could do something. Paqueta's a very good player, but not necessarily going to get attacking returns, but he's a good player. For the slightly cheaper midfielders, and of course we don't actually care about price, Ward Prowse is okay, Gibbs White's all right, playing Luton, Bailey's all right, Douglas Louise is all right, Uobi's all right, Alanga's all right, Barkley's all right. So I'd suggest you pick the green midfielders and then just put in three others. It's kind of all right. There's no need to overthink this really too much because it really is so much luck in a game like this because of who's playing, basically. So some people are do well. If you get Gibbs White, the chances are Bailey will score. If you go for Bailey, then maybe Gibbs White's going to score. Some other players in this page will be getting points though and some will be disappointing. Now I'm only going to show you six forwards to choose from but if you want to choose somebody else that's fine. Watkins is a good buy, Tony's a good buy. Of the rest we have Vissa, Morris, Fafana and Munez. Now for the benching order I'm not even going to show you a benching order. Just choose a goalkeeper that you chose that was green, the other one goes on your bench. And for the other players, the green players you play of the others it really doesn't make much difference. If you want to be a bit more safe, then you mix your team up and you choose players from different teams. If you want to take a bit of a gamble, then you choose players from the same team. And if you want to choose players that I haven't shown you this week, that's fine. It really doesn't matter. It's just for the one week. As for the suggested captains, Sun would be a good choice and it's going to be a very popular choice to be the captain and wear the old mule's hat. But Watkins is okay. Tony's all right. Bowen, perhaps... Morris, a bit of an outside shot there. And then Fofana, if you want to have a very cheeky punt. So I'd suggest make one of these your captain and one of these your vice captain. And if you haven't got two of these players, I suggest you go back and change your team and make sure you've got at least two of these players. As for the background image, it's the Cheltenham Festival this week. And the football connection is, well, today Alex Ferguson and Harry Redknapp both had horses winning today. And I've liked the horses since I was about seven. So there we have it. Nice quick video for the suggestions for the free hit for game week 29. I hope you have a bit of fun mixing your team around and just don't stress about it too much. It's going to be whatever. There's going to be some very strange results, I expect. Thanks for watching. Bye.